Eileen, you all right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. How's things for you, Marie? Me? Yeah, fine, couldn't be better. Great. As long as I stay that way. What are you saying that for? Why is she saying what? Are you trying to cause trouble, Mother? Of course not. <laughs> Come on, we best be getting on. OK, see you, love. Come on, yeah. see ya. No, I don't know anything you've got to say besides. I'm supposed to be at work. We weren't going to tell Maria Marcus' little secret, were you? Of course not. Not that I'm saying somebody shouldn't. But this will be the first house we fought. Yeah, and that makes you first time buyers, and that's why every seller wants, because you're not in the chain now. If you please excuse me. Oh, can you believe this? Oh, who is it? Do you know, someone keeps texting him every five minutes. Trying to sell me something. Oh. Probably a house. <laughs> Come on, we best go. Deb needs to get off. Yep, as soon as my assistant comes back from the extended lunch break, huh? We'll let you know how it goes. No, do, please, do. Ah. Uh, I'm guessing you don't want a cab. No. And the other thing I don't want are texts warning me you're not sure you can keep your mother quiet. Well, she has got a mind of her own. Famous for it. Yeah, well, I hope she's got enough common decency about her not to try and ruin what me and Maria have got. Mm, which is, um, which is what exactly? Just remind me. All I'll remind you is that there's a little lad involved in this. You split us up and he's the one who's going to suffer. Just leave my family alone, OK? Well, I would, yeah. If I thought you really meant it. I do. Not the impression I got. I don't care what impression you got. Just you and your mother, both of you, stay out of my life. Yeah, your life. That's a complete phone. My life that is my life and nothing to do with you. I won't tell you again. Stay away from me and stay away from my family. <laughs>